right, guys, today we are going to be getting rid of these unsightly rear view mirrors and replacing them with these sexinesses from Rizoma, which is an Italian company that makes awesome stuff. These are the Spy R handlebar mirrors, super high quality. Even the box is sexy. R, all billet aluminum, totally adjustable in every direction, handmade in Italy, and sexy as. First of all, we're gonna remove this with a 3 Allen wrench. You're gonna to need to cover your bike because we're gonna to have to hammer this thing counterclockwise to get it to come off. All right, sorry for the lighting up here, but basically what I did is I took a pair of pliers, I put them over the Allen key thusly, uh, and then I just cranked it. I tried hammering a little bit, that didn't really work. Maybe that loosened a little bit, but what really worked is putting these in a pair of pliers, putting them upside down like this, and then just crank it and open. Now I'll take that bolt out of there. Obviously, if you're doing that, you want to be careful that you don't scratch your bike, you don't throw the hammer, or drop this onto your paint, because it'll totally scrub your bike. So that's why I put a jacket on the bike. And just take out this handlebar bolt, and the bar end will come with it. We're also going to be replacing these hideous grips as well. Stay tuned. I'm probably going to be getting also um, Rizoma stuff for that. I'm also, I've also ordered from Italy um, red CNC machined Rizoma caps for these mirrors here. Those are coming in like six weeks. That's the problem with Italian bikes. Most of the stuff you have to import from Italy. Take this bar end off. I ended up uh, having to experiment a little bit because it comes with this adapter, which technically you're supposed to need to put it in. But as you're about to find out, all I had to do was take off the bar end. So actually I had to uh, remove a plastic washer as well as a metal washer from the Rizoma mirrors. And then once I did that, it actually fit right in and I didn't even need to go through the whole ordeal of putting this in and figuring out which washers will fit and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at it. So there's what she looks like. As you can see, a big difference from that giant mirror sticking out there, like an insect antenna. I also had these on my um, Ducati Monster, which looks like this. But here's what they look like. Very streamlined, very sexy. It's got the little red Rizoma strip there, which goes all the way around the mirror. Matches the red and black with the bike. Let's go ahead and put the other one in and I'll just show you exactly what I did. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit this with a 3 16th Allen wrench. And you're just gonna slowly but powerfully twist it counterclockwise. These are really hard to break because break loose because they have a thread lock inside. There we go. Take off the bar end. All right. Bar ends off. Okay, oddly this one, even though they're both uh, the same exact mirror, has two washers on it. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take this little plastic washer holder off and then take these two washers off. Take those off and then this is actually uh, ready to fit in there. All right, so it comes with a couple of extra plastic spacers and metal spacers. I only need the one. Um, what we're gonna do is pop a little bit of thread lock on here. Just a little dab. Wipe the remaining amount on your pants. So we got the thread lock on here. Now we're just gonna pop that in there, hand tighten it for a little bit. We're only using one of the black spacers. This mirror is completely configurable, so uh, you can turn it around to face the rear of the motorcycle, so that's not a worry. Tighten this up, but don't tighten it all the way. Pull it up to where you want it. Tighten it up. Make it pretty tight. All right, and that's an easy install right there for something that makes the, like, the bike look 100,000 times better. What do you think, guys? Which ones do you prefer? The big mirrors or the ones on the side? Let's take those big ones off and take a look. All right, again, sorry for the glare. Open up the jaws of your pliers all the way. Wrap a microwave fiber cloth around your mirror and turn the upper nut counterclockwise. Lift off the mirror and set it down carefully. Okay, same thing for the bottom nut. Cover it with a towel. 
clamp it really tight with the pliers, and then just hold on to the handlebar and yank it counterclockwise. Take it out carefully because you don't want to drop this metal on your bike. In fact, I'm going to stop and use two hands. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Something uh, the washer dropped on it. It's like a good size washer, too. Set these aside and do the same thing for the left side mirrors. There's not a lot of Moto Guzzi information out there, so I plan on making a lot of information for you guys. Mirror. Take it off carefully. If, if I ever do sell this bike, which I don't plan on, you want to keep the stock parts. This bottom one's a lot tighter. Rip it and rip it. Yep. There it goes. We're going to watch out for the washer this time. Alright, much sexier. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's much sexier. Especially with these nice rizomas. Gorgeous. Very low profile. It's basically almost like having no mirrors at all. Except you do actually have the mirrors. You just gotta learn how to use them. I think it's much sexier. Again, these can be turned every which way. These mirrors can be turned over. Completely facing the other direction. Um, this can be shifted forward or actually down so you could actually put this under. Actually, we should see what that looks like. Let's we'll see what that looks like. So here's how they are above. I don't know guys, I think down low is looking pretty dangerous too. What do you think? Pretty hot. I mean, you could also tilt them back like this. Or you could tilt them forward. Totally adjustable. Um, these Rizoma products are very expensive, but like I said, all beautifully machined, billet aluminum, very high quality work. I wouldn't put anything less on the Moto Guzzi. It's an Italian bike, gotta have Italian parts. Up or down? I think down might be a little bit better. All right, we'll put them down. All right, nice cool little discovery here. These actually come with a couple of different plugs for the original mirrors, the OEM mirrors. It's a little black plastic cap. Um, it's not like the aluminum or anything, but it is a cool solution for now until I get the aluminum red ones that I ordered, which are coming in from Italy, as I mentioned. It's gonna take like six weeks. So I'll pop those in there. Pretty awesome. Got to give these guys a five stars out of five stars, man. These Rizomas are super awesome. They really come with like everything you possibly need to fit all different kinds of bikes. Looks super sexy. Again, they're expensive, but they're worth it.